Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can access ChatGPT from Hong Kong. You see, if you're in Hong Kong and you try to access ChatGPT, you're going to get a message that looks something like this, saying that the site cannot load. And this isn't just for GPT, it's also Claude and Gemini. You're going to see that it's not currently supported in your country. All of these companies have pulled out of China. It's not the Chinese government that blocks them, it's the companies themselves who have pulled out of the country and do not allow access to their platforms. But luckily, there are a few ways that you can still get access. One of the most common is by using Poe, which is a AI chat aggregator. It allows you to get access to many different chat models from a lot of different websites. You can get Grok, Gemini, Claw, GPT, pretty much all the main models. The thing with Poe is that besides for having more expensive usage rates, you're not going to have a lot of the features that would come with a subscription to something like ChatGPT. You'll be able to have a conversation and interact with ChatGPT, but all of the extra features, the different types of styles, having a larger context, all of that is not going to be available. Now the other really popular method is going to be by using something called a VPN. This one right here is called ExpressVPN. Some other top options out there are going to be ProtonVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. Now there's going to be more information about all of these in the description. And what they're going to do is give you a secure connection that makes it seem as if you're somewhere else in the world when you're connecting up to ChatGPT. So for example, if you were using ProtonVPN, and this is a great option if you want a free VPN, Nord and ExpressVPN are both going to be paid options, but with Proton, they do also have a paid plan, but they have a very solid free VPN as well. It's not going to be as fast and you're only going to get five places in the world to connect to, but those will include the United States and Japan. So if you aren't interested in paying for a VPN, then Proton is going to be the way to go. Other free VPNs are just not going to work as well. And a lot of them do actually collect your data and sell it to advertisers and try to make a profit. Proton actually doesn't do that. So this is a legit free VPN that you could try out. And all you'd have to do is go over to the United States, click on it. And in just a second or two, you're going to be connected up to this location. Once you do this, any website you visit, including ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini, are going to think that you're in the United States and you'd be able to access those AI models. So I could go back now to ChatGPT over here where I was getting this message. I can just refresh the page and now I'm going to be able to access it and chat normally. It may be a little slower right now. The responses might take a while and that's because like I said, I'm using the free version of Proton, which isn't as fast. If you wanted to have the fastest possible speeds with no limit on your data cap, that's another thing that free VPNs will do. A lot of them will cap your data. Proton doesn't do that, but if you don't want to deal with any of those restrictions, then you can go with a paid VPN like Express, Nord. Another great option that is actually pretty inexpensive is going to be Surfshark. All three of these VPNs are paid VPNs that will give you the fastest possible speeds with no limit, and they all have a minimum of 100 countries to connect to. So that's going to be the simplest way to get access to ChatGPT or any other chat AI that is restricted and not available in Hong Kong. If you want to find out more about any of these VPNs, there'll be full in-depth reviews in the description. There's even going to be some discount links on the paid ones over here to get you a better deal and save you some extra money. So let me know in the comments which one you decide to try out and how it goes for you. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.